afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the Stocks with Show Live. I'm doing a review here of Cree. It has earnings out tonight. And I thought I would do this because I have 100% conviction that Cree gaps down in the earnings report tonight. Time of the day is 3.02, and the earnings don't come out for another hour or more after the close. And Cree's had a rally here, uh, actually more than a dollar rally here right late in the day. Time of the rally started approximately around 2 o'clock big rally in here. This doesn't change anything I see in the chart. I thought this would flatline all day until the earnings. It didn't. It's rallying. Does this make me like it more or less or anything? No. I still like Creed Gap down tonight. Now this, what I'm talking about right now is not what I teach in the class. Okay. What I teach in the class is you find the gap when it's happening live, which is at night or in the morning. And then you rate it. And that's what you do. And it's very easy if it rates 20 points or more for the 26 point system, you will look to do the gap in the direction of the gap. In the case of Cree, because I'm looking for it to short, I'll be looking for it to gap down. If it would gap up, you could rate it as a gap up. The thing is though that I'm seeing something that I thought I would share, which is above and beyond what I teach in the class, which is I've been able to predict when something's going to actually gap and even where it's going to gap, which is really amazing, actually. Uh, I don't see this in every one that I see when I look at what is supposed to report. But when I do see it, I do think it's noteworthy to discuss it. If I could teach a class on predicting where something would gap, I would. I can't because I, I don't know what I see. I don't know what I see, but I'm telling you right now that I'm seeing that Cree is going to gap down. Now, is there a possibility this could gap up? Yes. Is that low odds? Yes. Where am I predicting this to gap? Kind of like I said, Netflix would gap up, make a new high, and go over 500. I'm going to give some numbers here for Cree. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out. My prediction is that Cree gaps down. Now, I can't rate it until it gaps down because the rating will depend on the price of the gap. But I'm predicting that Cree gaps down to 32, somewhere between 32 and 31. That's what I'm saying. Now, could it actually break 30? Yes. Would that set me off of it? No, no. Uh, but my prediction is approximately in this area here is where it's going to land here this evening. Now, also, it really does depend even if it gaps tonight around here, I don't know what it'll be look like in the morning. The target will depend on where it actually looks like it's setting up tomorrow morning, where the gap opens, and then what the target will be. But I think tonight between 31 and 32. After this rally we just had in the last hour. Again, this is me, Melissa Armo, predicting stocks before they gap. That's not what I teach in the class, though. So you need to know that what I teach in the class is you just wait for the stock to gap, whether it gaps up or down. And once it does, then you rate it. And then you trade it if it rates 20 points or more. But I think this is noteworthy to look at some of these here that I am predicting before they even have the earnings. And I have 100% conviction that Cree gaps down tonight. There's no chance this doesn't gap down tonight. I said the same thing on Netflix, no chance of failure that it wouldn't gap up. It did. Exact same thing here in Cree. No chance of failure that this doesn't gap down tonight. The number exactly where it's going to gap, though, I don't know exactly. I'm giving an area between 31 and 32-ish. should definitely be breaking 32. This won't be a small gap down. Shouldn't be a monster gap down. Probably medium. So we'll see what it does. This is definitely going to work tomorrow, though. It's it's almost like, I mean, I don't know the rating until I rate the gap, but it's almost like I, I can just see it. I can just see it. I, I, it hasn't even happened, and I can see it. This is like, I wish that I knew what I saw here, but I don't know what I see. And I actually don't know if I'll ever know what it is to quantify it. But I will tell you that experience there's just there's nothing like having knowledge and experience. You take the knowledge that I have in what I do in the market and my gaps, 
and they take experience that I have trading them, it's like it's a win-win all over the place. And most people I have found that gain knowledge in the market never follow through with one particular method or strategy to gain the experience to do it well. Or you have people that have experience trading and never gain the correct knowledge of what they're supposed to be doing in any specific strategy to ever get good at any one thing. Many, many people are either experienced with no knowledge or have knowledge and no experience. Okay. Quite frankly, to be successful in the market, you need both. And if you have both for any length of time, which I've been doing gaps for seven years, which is really a, a, a long enough, but not really, really long. It's not like I'm doing this for 10, 20, 30 years. Okay. I'm very young. But the point is, though, that you could, with experience and education, in even 12, 24 months, I mean, you could become an expert in, in one specific strategy or your field. And with someone like me mentoring you, you know, particularly, it's just that many people don't have the knowledge. And the ones that do then lack the experience. And then experienced traders don't want to learn anything from anyone else because they think they know everything. And then they never gain the right knowledge, even though they have experience, and they never get good at one strategy. It's, it's the combination of the experience and the knowledge together doing one specific thing that allows me to to do something like I'm calling right now, which is a Cree will gap down. And just like I made the call on Netflix, to make the phenomenal, incredible, fantastic, fabulous calls that I make, it's because of the knowledge that I have and the experience. And it really comes down to the price. It's the way that I know how to read money in stocks. That's how I can tell what the next move that something's going to do before it even does it. Now, I can't tell that in every single thing. Luckily, I don't need to. I just wait till the gaps and I rate it. But the gap rating system I teach gives you the knowledge to be able to read money correctly. And when you can do that, then you'll be making money in the market. And it's really just about that. It's just that many people have no idea what to look for. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com predicting Cree to gap down tonight. We'll see what it does, but I'm calling it right here. No chance of failure that Cree gaps down tonight. And we'll look at it when it, when it has the earnings report out. Any questions or if you're interested in taking the Golden Gap class, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.